How's it going, everybody? My name is Sean Howard, and I'm going to be showing you how to do a karaoke live stream via your OBS system. So I learned how to do this from a fellow by the name of Brad Jennings here. And I would like to show you how you can do your own karaoke live streams. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add your video capture device, which you can see the blue box is probably, well, it's probably not highlighted. But you add your video capture device, which is your webcam. And then I'm going to go through a couple other things with you. You can turn on your text as well. There's a text GDI setting that you can use for like a virtual tip jar and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So, what you want to do most importantly is you want to add a browser to it. So, add browser. I have a second scene open so mine is browser too. And let's take that, put that over there. So, you've just added a browser source it automatically comes with the OBS project okay but that's not what we want we want uh, YouTube so just go to YouTube on your browser and copy and paste the browser to it's right here paste now you have to click this. It's very important. You can change it later, but it's easier if you just do it right off the bat. Control audio via OBS. Okay. Now, there's that very same YouTube channel up and at them, ready to go. You can close down your Google now if you're just making videos. If you're live streaming, you're going to want that open anyway. That's going to have your Facebook or. Uh, whatever you're using to record. So, what you need to do next, right here, Browser 2, you're going to right click that, and you're going to click Interact. Now, that's going to pull up Interacting with Browser. So, with just this, you can't do anything. It's stuck. You can't click, you can't change anything. When you press interact, you're actually using that URL from OBS. So I could type in karaoke. And what do you know? The Lewis Quality song shows up. And when you're doing your live stream, you're not going to have video capture on. It's going to look um, like this is what it should look like and this won't be there so you can make this as tiny as you want and have it over here if you wanted to I'm doing it just for the sake of this video so you got your thing there and I would I have mine um, you see I have it hidden right now but that's that so when I finally figured out how to do this, I played the door of the Explorer. We did it. I have got so many test videos from me trying to figure out my latency and everything else that um, I'm saving the bloopers and I'm going to make a video of all me, me screaming into the microphone trying to figure out how to do everything. So then I played door of the Explorer. We did it at the end. Um, so a couple more things that you are going to want to do. You are going to want to go into Browser 2, and you're going to want to click on this cog, which is super, super important. Just so click on that, Advanced Audio Properties. So Browser 2, the monitor is currently off. You want that to be Monitor and Output on that. I only have it on Monitor and Output, 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 for my podcast mic so that I can hear myself right now. Uh, if you have monitor off, you won't be able to hear um, anything. But it's still going through the output. So 
What I am going to do now is set the audio latency back. So when you're using a microphone on your computer, it's going, your voice is going through the microphone, through the cables, through your controller or your USB and into the computer. So it's, there's going to be a delay and your music is not going to be delayed because it's coming straight from the computer into the recording. So you need to set the milliseconds negative to whatever your latency is going to be. Mine, for my vocals, is about 130. So I don't know why there's not a left and right there. That worries me. Anyway, and I've got the desktop audio um, set to monitor off. Just that way I've got a guarantee that my uh, browser is going to be making noise. I want to be able to hear it as well since I'm doing karaoke. And you have your audio latency set, so that's ready to go. And you should be able to hear everything. Oh god, this is going to be loud. Let's turn that down. And then you should be able to hear it. And I have my actual microphone here. Let me do this. Yeah. I'm going under and this time I feel there's no one to save me. This all or nothing really got away and driving me crazy. Okay. So, that is that. Hopefully that works. I've made two of these already, where for some reason it did not. Hopefully this one does. So you have your karaoke stream. You have your interact button. Well, not button. And you can still type in here and everything else when it's small. And you can see it up there if you get nervous about it. Um, yeah. So the big thing is adjusting your audio latency and making sure that you can hear as well as the recording picks it up as well, which is really important. So for my stream scene here, this one I'm just making for the YouTube video. Let's see, none of these channels are muted besides my video capture device, which really I could. Could hide that. Yeah. Okay, so now I have all my important audio there. My browser, my desktop audio, desktop audio too, which I really don't need that there. We're gonna mute that. And hide that. So I have my compressor microphone, my podcast microphone, my browser, and my desktop audio. Those are the four channels that I'm going to be focused on. Let's go back into the advanced audio properties. So I have my microphones, both of them in mono. My mic, I don't have the monitor on. Uh, I'm going through an M audio system so I can hear myself sing and I don't need the um, monitor to be on. With my podcast, I'm just going straight through my computer, so I need monitor and output to hear myself. And there's a little bit of an echo, but it shouldn't pick up that echo when you record. Just a heads up for that. And then you should be able to uh, do some singing. And again, the important thing is to make sure it's all advanced audio properties. Um, you want one to not have a uh, monitor and output. There's two desktop audios for some reason here, probably because I have two channels. And you just want monitor off on your desktop audio and then monitor and output on the browser or however you personally want to do it. You can do it either which way. And then you should be able to do some singing. 
and streaming it online. If you do it on uh, Facebook, make sure to say that you do not own the rights to the music. Um, they like to mute karaoke channels because of copyright laws. Always state in your videos that you're doing it for recreational use. Uh, if you are collecting tips, um, just make sure you're releasing the rights that this is not your original works or they'll mute it. Um, and they might mute it anyway. They have many times for me. But you just uh, you carry on and you keep uh, doing your thing. I hope this was helpful. I hope you maybe uh, learned something there. And I uh, guess I was... Oh, uh, let me show you. Is my screen capture still on? I guess I'll find that out. Let me see. Display capture. <clears throat> Um, but it to do. Maybe I can add a display capture here. Woo, boy. So I wanted to show you about this, uh, this text track here. <clears throat> this is your checks, uh, checks. When you press add, there's an option for text plus GDI and you want to go into that so when you open it up it'll give you the option to type in what you would like to have on your screen and I have a really long <clears throat> set of words so after that you're going to go to filters and mine says virtual tip jar my Venmo and then thanks for watching and I have it sharpened just that way so that it comes off real clear and then scroll is a really cool one to add. So you can make it, you know, rotate across the screen as much as you want. You want loop on so that it just continues. And then I have it hidden, but that's what it looks like when I'm live streaming. Besides the stuff in the corner here, right up there. And yeah. So that's how you do that. And you should be able to play your karaoke and use that little interact box to, um, to change the songs. Um, if you have Facebook open, you know, in another screen. Um, so I normally have this minimized like this because whoever's watching is getting my full screen and then only I can see this. And I'll have like Facebook over here. So I'm watching my live stream there and then I'm paying attention to what my audio is doing and I'm using this little interact box right there to, um, change the song because I take requests usually on songs and uh, I'll just type them in and sing them but that's how I've been doing it and it's been working great um, if you have a good microphone with a good microphone system it comes off great Ooh, there's another thing I wanted to show you so uh, this <clears throat> program also supports VTS or yeah VTS plugins and you can add them into your <clears throat> audio, excuse me. So on my uh, mic aux, you go to the settings and then you go to filters. And I have my VTSD plugin, which you can add uh, right here, your VTSD plugin. And I have Reverb Solo, which is free, and oh my gosh, is it so, so easy to use. So this is what it looks like. You can just go to Google and type in Reverb Solo, and it's going to sound like this. It is great. And I mean, it's just so easy to use. It's only two bars. You have the small and bright to the large and dark and then how dry or wet you would like it and uh, yeah it's that's a great one to have especially because I'll when I'm doing a talking I have a podcast microphone that I use which is this little guy right here and it's t I got it from Walmart it's nothing fancy now this my actual microphone system is an M audio uh, I have the air 192 slash four which isn't top of the line but it's pr pretty great for my little home studio 
you know, I'm not doing anything super fancy here, but um, it definitely gets the job done. Um, anyway, I hope that this was helpful and maybe you can use this technique in your own live streams in the future. I know if there was a more specific video for me, that would have been super, super uh, helpful. But the guy that really helped me figure some of this stuff out was this Brad Jennings. I went and I watched his video, and that's where I learned more about um, these cogs on the side. And then I had to spend probably 12 hours figuring out how to do the monitor inputs and the latency delays and everything else. So just make sure you do a latency delay or else you're going to be singing way behind where you think you're singing when it's recorded. Do some test videos. This You can make as many videos as you want on here. It's just stop, uh, start recording, stop recording right down here. And yeah, I really hope that this has helped you out. And I will catch you later if I think of something new. I'll let you know. Thanks.